Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we will find the area of triangles using the formula. Remember, area is the measure of the two-dimensional space inside a flat shape and measured in square units. To find the area of a triangle, we will use the formula A equals 1 half BH, where B is the base of the triangle, H is the height of the triangle, and our height is the length of the perpendicular line from the vertex opposite the base to the base. So our calculation using the formula is area equals 1 half times the base times the height. Let's take a look at our examples. So in this first example, I have an isosceles triangle that is 6 by 6 by 10. And we're going to use the formula area equals 1 half times the base times the height. So I'm going to want to label my base and my height. My base is 10 feet. And then the height, remember, goes from the vertex across from your base, and it's the perpendicular line to the base. So that's going to be this line here. Normally, they will show it with that dotted or dashed line. So my height in this triangle is five feet. And I don't need to use the six for anything in this formula, just the base and the height. So I'm gonna have area equals one half times the base. So I'm gonna substitute 10 for the B in the formula times the height. And my height was five, so I'll substitute five for the H in the formula. Now I have area equals 1 half times 10 times 5, and I can do this multiplication in whichever order I choose. So in this problem, we're going to work left to right. So I'll start with 1 half times 10. 1 half times 10 is 10 divided by 2, which is 5, and then I still need to multiply by the height of 5. So I have area equals 5 times 5, and 5 times 5 is 25. Because it's area, we will label it as feet squared. So I have area equals 25 feet squared. In this example, we have a right triangle that's 6 centimeters by 8 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And our formula for the area of a triangle is area equals 1 half times the base times the height. So we need to label our base of 8 centimeters. And our height is from the vertex opposite the base and it's perpendicular to the base. So in this triangle, the six centimeters is going to be our height. So let's label the six centimeters as our height. And we're ready to go to our formula and start plugging in some values. So we have area equals one half times the base. Well, our base was eight centimeters. So we'll take the eight and substitute it for the B times our height. Our height was six centimeters, so we'll take the six and substitute it for the h. So now I have one half times eight times six equals my area, and I can do this multiplication in whichever order I want to. So we're going to do one half times, we're going to multiply eight by six first. So we'll have one half times 48 and 1 half times 48 is the same thing as 48 divided by 2, and 48 divided by 2 is 24. We're working with area, so it'll be centimeters squared, so our area will be 24 square centimeters. This next example, I have an obtuse triangle, and the important thing to note with the obtuse triangle is they give us our base of 9 inches, but look where they've drawn the height. They've drawn the height in outside of the triangle because your height goes from the vertex opposite your base perpendicular to the base. So that is this dashed line they've drawn in outside of the triangle, and our height is 4 inches. Once we have our base and height labeled, we're ready for our formula. Area equals 1 half times our base times our height. So we'll have 1 half times our base. Our base was 9 inches, so we're going to substitute the 9 for the B times our height. Our height was 4 inches, so we're going to substitute the 4 for the H in the formula. So now I have area equals 1 half times 9 times 4. 
The next thing to think about is that you can multiply these numbers in whichever order you choose. One half times nine, however, is going to give you a fraction and you don't wanna work with fractions if you don't have to. So I'm gonna switch this order and I'm gonna multiply the one half times the four first. So I wanna think about it as being one half times four times nine because one half times four is four divided by two, which is two, and that'll leave me with two times nine, which is a very easy problem that you can do in your head. So our area equals two times nine, which is 18, and we're working in inches, so our area will be 18 inches squared. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.